Ladies and gentlemen, now on yesterday's Cavalier Crystal opening, we said if we could smash out 5,000 likes that today we would return to gamble another $200 on this Clown World Casino to try and awaken our six-star version of Guillotine 2099. A mad love, man, because the enablers absolutely smashed it yesterday. 5,000 likes was hit so, so fast. So thank you all for pounding that like button, just like me, Khalifa, boys. I've never been so proud proud of my life but today uh we're gonna go for another round of 20 of these bad boys and the pep tactic that we've been using has been working so so well we've had like four batches of 10 that have all been really really good batches especially that final batch yesterday we broke the six star drought with two six star champions so it was an um absolute banger there uh but anyway let's do the tactic so it's you you buy 10 crystals and again this just might be a load of rubbish it might be a conspiracy but i've had 100 percent success rate with this so far so you you go out and then you open them again and then you go out and then you go in again and then you start spinning out the crystals so again very very silly boys bit superstitious but hey it's been working man and you don't want to mess with a good formula so let's uh, see what is uh, coming out of crystal number one today. If we can get another six-star champion today, that'd be amazing. If that six-star champion is Guillotine 2099, I'm going to be proper chuffed, lads. So let's have a bit of a look at crystal number one today. And coming around that corner is going to be a three-star version of She-Hulk there. So a bit of a tragic start to today's crystal opening. Certainly paying for that, that double six-star stack that we did have yesterday. Um, but let's keep on soldiering forward because... Um, Plenty more crystals to go, and we still got champions that we could awaken that would just be crazy, man. Like six star ghost, six star mega red, like six star void, six star Captain America Infinity War. There are a lot of really big wins in today's uh, Cavalier Crystal Pool. So come on, man. Let's have a look. Crystal number two is going to be a five star version of OG Iron Man. I uh, I really hope they get around to buffing OG Iron Man as well at some point, man. Because like Iron Man Infinity War is very fun to play. Um, I'm looking forward to the whole. Hulkbuster buff, but Hulkbuster and Daredevil, just in the last poll, were a little bit above, um, uh, you know, the classic version of Iron Man for me. But hey, if they can, like, Gamora, you know, surprise us, because that buff was very unexpected with Iron Man, that would also be a very, very good time, because there was a lot of love out there for OG Iron Man. But let's have a look. Crystal number three, Symbiote Supreme, boys. A four-star version there. So, that's yeah, been okay so far. That brings Symbiote up to Jeep level 99. I think I'm most happy about the uh, the five star Iron Man so far, uh, but we really don't want the five star Iron Man to be the highlight of the entire crystal opening. So if we get something a little bit more spicy, that'd be greatly appreciated. That's going to be a four star version of Crossbones there, uh, which I I'm assuming that man is Max Sig. So let's just uh, you know move on to uh, to crystal number five now, lads, and see what we can do. So let's uh, let's go for this one. Wouldn't mind the six-star version of Diablo there as well. Be quite nice to add to the collection of a um, uh, cheeky little Cavalier crystal. Let's have a bit of a look. Oh, five-star man things. That gets our man thing awakened there. That's not too bad, boys. And the second five-star champion in just five crystals so far today. So that adds uh, a bit more regeneration, a little bit more fury to man thing. I might have a look at the values toward the um. Uh, the end of today's crystal opening because I'm just a little bit curious. I don't think it's like too big, but there we go. Five star Winter Soldier as well, man. Dude, we've got exactly a 50% five star ratio so far. This is going really, really well. Um, if we could just keep this up, you know, keep, keep up a similar ratio, you know, chucking a few six star champions on top, that'd be a really good time. But hey, a spicy, um, spicy first stack of 10 so far. Let's have a bit of a look. Is it crystal number seven now? And it's going to be a three-star version of Juggernaut to bring us back down to reality, boys. The reality of the Cavaliers here. But hey, you know, we're still not doing too bad today so far. So there is still quite a lot of hope with today's crystal opening. But let's have a look. Crystal number eight is going to be landing on a six-star. Oh, mate, come on! You're... Bro, that's like the second time I've been trolled with six-star man thing this weekend, man. Get out the park. Shut the front door. That is rubbish, mate. Rubbish. Gutted, boys. I thought I had a six-star man thing as well. That was going to make it so good for the first stack of ten. Oh, but let's go, man. Crystal number nine. What's coming around that corner? And it's a three-star version of Red Hulk there. 
bro. Those troll overs are, they're savage, mate. They're savage. Somebody was saying in the comment section, I think this is a good idea, uh, that we do like a, a savage troll over uh, of 2019 compilation toward the end of the year, man. I, I really do like the sound of that one. So yeah, I think we might uh, might sort that out at some point. That's going to take a, a lot of getting through our videos, man. But hey, should be a, a fun one to put together because we've had so many savage troll overs this year. Uh, but there we go. Three-star man thing to end the first stack of 10. But overall, still pretty good. Like three five-star champions, awakening man thing. Like it's a decent enough start. So let's uh, move over to the second stack of 10. So I would say that's uh, about a five out of five success rate for the pet method there. So let's uh, go for a stack of 10. Let's go out again and then let's go in again and then let's go out again before we go in again for the final time and hopefully we can get some six star champions boys. It was uh, a decent start but we're looking for an amazing god tier finish so I can put CEO in the thumbnail. <laughs> but let's have a look. Four star symbiote Spider-Man. Not quite the champion that we were after there for, from crystal number 11. But hey, it's just the start of the stack, man. And uh, we're going to have a massive comeback on this one, boys. We had such a good second stack yesterday that hopefully there's going to be some spicy stuff knocking about in the remaining nine crystals well, let's have a look crystal number 12 is going to be landing on a five star guillotine 2099 so we've got and awakened guillotine and also awakened man thing this opening that's madness mate that's madness so i got my five star wake one awaken before the six star which to be honest was significantly more likely but hey if we can awaken the six star one as well today um That'd be a really, really good time. But Yitting, she's still going to be in the Doom Cavaliers as well, man. So hope is not lost just yet. And I thought we'd have a rollover to the five-star Netflix Daredevil there. Uh, but unfortunately, we are landing on the three-star version of Blade. So, uh, all right, man. It's It's been okay. Like, the Yitting's definitely saving the stack so far. Still got seven more to go. So I think this is crystal number 14 now. And yeah, three star century. There's nothing really like that great coming around the corner there. Let's keep on going, boys. Come on, mate, if we can get a six star champion as well. As we've got Guillotine Awakened, Man Thing Awakened, a couple of five stars so far. Like one five star, one six star, and I'm going to be a very, very happy man. Uh, but there we go. Four star Electra. Not quite what we we're after there, lads. But um, five more crystals to go. Five more chances to. Um, Awaken our Guillotine 2099 before the Doom and Guillotine Crystals. And word through the grapevine is that those those might be coming a little bit earlier, lads. So I definitely have your notifications on because apparently Kabama are planning some stuff next month. So we're going to have to see on that one, man. But some of the, the data miner whispers have been telling me that there's, uh, yeah, something to look out for early next week, boys. Something to look out for <laughs> very early next week. That's that four-star man thing. It's all right, man. Not really the, the champion work that we're after just because he's not the, um, uh, the current featured. So we didn't get the bonus shards there. But we still got four more crystals, man. Four more crystals to get a six-star champion. So hopefully, crystal number 17 is going to be landing on that six-star. And it's going to be a four-star version of Venom there. I absolutely love Venom, man. He's so much fun to play after his buff. Like, I was playing about, I think, for just a bit of fun the other day with my five-star rank for... He's so enjoyable, man. So, so enjoyable. I hope there are some good uses for him in... Um, uh, what is it? Act 6, Chapter 3. Because I'd love to do uh, another Venom gameplay video. Because he he's just so much fun, man. So, so much fun. Let's have a little bit of a look. Three star Magneto. Ah, uh, bit tragic, lads. Still desperately waiting for that Magneto buff as well. Dude, I, I think if you were to, like, poll the community which champion they want to see buff the most, Magneto, I think, would win by a landslide. I reckon Doctor Strange would be the runner-up, because Doctor Strange has still had a massive injustice done to him. Uh, for, is it is it like almost three years now that Doctor Strange has been, uh, you know, dead in a ditch in comparison to what he used to be? So I'd love that Doctor Strange buff, man, but Magneto is, is definitely number one for most people there. Uh, let's have a look. Three-star War Machine. Nothing good coming around the corner there. And let's go for the... Um, the final Cavalier Crystal of today, and hopefully uh, something exciting is gonna gonna pop out. 
but maybe probably one stop at Desperation Station, I would assume. Uh, yeah, three star Miss Marvel there. So let's do it for the uh, the single crystal here, lads. Let's use the pet method on it as well, because uh, that stack, it turned out okay, because we awakened like uh, Guillotine 2099 as a five star champion. So not too bad, but aside from that, there wasn't anything that was uh, tremendously exciting in that stack. But let's go for the single pop here. So I think we'll um we'll go for like should we go for one one pop and then one spin? So we're gonna pop this one, man, and see what we get. And it's gonna be a three-star rocket raccoon. <laughs> that didn't work at all. And then we'll uh we'll go for one one more spin, man. One more spin. Let's just let's try our luck, boys. Let's try our luck. Okay, so out in again. This is so silly, man. Definitely off that that last stack. Might be a little bit superstitious, or maybe we just used our fourth the luck. But come on, mate. Final crystal today. Let's end this opening on a banger. And it's going to be landing on a three-star version of Howard the Duck. I think it's time to put down these Cavaliers for the week, boys. But overall, I think it's been a fairly decent weekend. we got a couple of six-star champions, a lot of five-stars, especially in the second crystal opening. Uh, like, decent ratio, like, today and yesterday as well. So, it's been an alright time, but now we just need to saddle up and get ready for those Doom Cavalier crystals, which are going to be coming around the corner fairly shortly. Uh, and I'm looking forward to those, man. Those should be a really, really good time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's crystal opening, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.